Hello everyone and I welcome you all to another video of our search series and in the past video we have learned about uh, linear search, binary search and we looked at some of the problems of uh, binary search as well. Alright, now in this uh, question um, you will see that the array here is basically not in a sorted order like it can be but it cannot be in a sorted order. Alright and you have to tell um, you have to find the peak element okay. so first of all let's uh, read about what we have to do exactly so an element is called a peak element if its value not smaller than the value of its adjacent elements if they exist right now it's given an array of size n return the index of any of its peak element all right hmm. all right now let's go to our whiteboard and think exactly uh, what's the question here okay and zoom in a little bit cool now let's write an array let's have something as yeah This looks good. Now, in this uh, question, in this array, you have to tell me the peak element. So, peak element is the element which, for which you know its uh, adjacent elements should not be greater than it. So, suppose 40. 40 could be a peak element because uh, it is greater than its adjacent 10 and greater than its adjacent 30 as well. 90 could be a peak because it is greater than its left adjacent and it doesn't have a right adjacent. All right now the first thing which comes in your mind is you can uh, simply start your traversing from this element we check if it has a left or if it has a right and if it has um, any of them you'll uh, compare it with them similarly you'll go to 10 you'll go to 40 you'll go to 30 you'll go to 26 90 and if you find any element all uh, right like you found that 40 is the one you want to have so you will just simply print it. So the time complexity here is O of n if you do the uh, linear traversing. Now uh, you can see that the array here is unsorted, but still you can use binary search, right? I'm just wondering how. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's have low as zero, high as n minus one. Yeah. And let's have mid as low plus high by 2. Right. Now our mid would be this. Now we'll check our mid's left. Okay, I'm doing some problem. Not able to understand. Okay. Some problem with network connection. Okay. Let's try and connect to this network. Just give me two minutes, uh, guys. I don't know what is the exact problem here. I'm not able to connect to the network, although it's not still there. Okay.
okay disconnected okay yeah cool so where were we exactly we had our l we had our h and we had our mid right you know mid has l plus h by 2 right this was our mid now we'll check on the left of the mid we check on the right of the mid right we'll clearly see that 40 is greater than 30 and that's why it cannot be an uh, peak element so what will happen exactly here is see you know 30 is not a peak element to check for 40 40 is obviously you know uh, greater than 30 obviously 40 could be a peak element here right so we we'll simply have our i as uh, mid minus 1 that would be one case right clearly right that means we have just broken this array part and we're searching in this part suppose if it was 60 not 20 clearly we would have broken uh, this part and have found the answer here right so these are the case now let's try and code this thing all right and see if uh, we can get an answer. I told you we'll have a loop. I am Manson. We'll have while no less than equal to i. We have mid as plus i by 2. Right. Now uh, we'll check two conditions. We'll check for the left of it. If the okay, there would be two cases for the left. Suppose if mid is equal to zero or array mid minus one is smaller than array of mid. That means the left part has been taken care of. Now we have to take uh, care of the left right part. Alright. We'll say add if mid is equal to n minus 1 or array of mid is greater than array of mid plus 1. These two cases are true. It simply return it. Right? Else, what we can do is if mid is greater than 0 and an array mid minus 1 is greater than array of mid. Uh, we'll have i as mid minus 1 right else you can simply write low as mid plus 1 and in the end if we do not find any uh, max element uh, peak element we will return minus 1 right okay uh, one more. This would be inside our this function, right? Inside our peak element function. Okay. Let's try and compile this code. Okay. We are getting the expected output. Let's try and submit it. Okay. We got a wrong answer somewhere. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay, it can be like people, you know, uh, I did something wrong this, that suppose two, two could be a greater, two could be a peak element because it should be smaller than its adjacent element, All right? So here we can have equal to sign as well, All right? Hmm. Okay, yeah, that works. So hopefully this should work. No okay, problem, I will solve successfully. I hope you understood like what was the uh, problem there. So I guess yeah, that was it for this square uh, for this question, right? I hope you understood um, what we did in our peak element. So. Uh, the time complexity here was big O of log n. Right. So this was a searching question. All right. Although it was not a sorted array, but still used a uh, binary search here. I hope you understood why. Because suppose if our mid element is not the peak element, then the peak element would be lying either to the left half or towards the right half. So we segregate or you know, we make different two arrays, right? So if you have any doubt regarding this question, you may ask it uh, in the comment section. And thank you for watching this video. And stay tuned for further more videos. Thank you.